Hey everyone, this is just a follow-up video about my chords automator. If you haven't watched this video, go ahead and watch the video about my chords automator. It's pretty cool. It has some interesting stuff in it. Uh, so I got some interesting comments about this chords automator and I decided to add some stuff and fix it and improve it. Uh, I got a really interesting comment on Reddit by someone named Dr. B. Jones. Uh, this is great, a thought. Could you use a scale MIDI effect in the chain to automatically give you the correct major and minor chords without having to switch between the two? Uh, this is actually a really good question and I tried it and it really improves my chords automator. So thank you Dr. B. Jones. I'm also going to add a download link for the rack in the description below. Uh, let's go to Ableton and see the stuff that I did. So now I have some kind of a mixer between the different notes in a chord. And this is not volume mixer, but it's a velocity mixer. So you basically bring up the velocity and I've added also randomness. So the further you go, uh, the higher the velocity, but also the more random uh, the velocity range is. So it's kind of a dual purpose um, knob. I can put root and fifth, third, seventh, and I've added second or ninth and fourth or eleventh. And the reason I, I wrote second or ninth or fourth or eleventh is that it's a second if you bring out the third but it's a ninth if you put the third in so now uh, so I, I added the scale uh, on each chain and I scale it to uh, a major diatonic but that doesn't mean that you're bound just to uh, the chords within the major diatonic because I've added also the pitch here so you can actually change the pitch of the scale uh, and basically it allows you to borrow uh, chords from different scales and lastly I've added this auto voicing stuff so if it's uh, all the way down to zero it means that we we're not gonna have this random voicing so it's basically uh, so it's basically uh, without any randomness and when I bring it up it bring the chance of the random eventually it's also bring the choices to two so it's kind of uh, when it when it's crank all the way up you have a pretty random variety uh, and I brought the chance all the way up to 67 instead of 50 percent because I I realized that out of three 67 or 66 uh, is actually distributing equally the amount of likelihood for each note And that's it. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe for more and see you next time. Stay tuned.